Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined. Always glad to get Ramaz Mahmood back on the channel. He is now, well, he is 14 wins with three defeats with um three, three, no, two wins by knockout, sorry. And he's back out at York Hall Bethnal Green uh, December 2nd on Box Mania against Peter Merger for the Commonwealth's um, Silver Super Bantamweight title. And um, yeah, good to get you back on. Yeah, it's always good to be on, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Uh, I do appreciate your time coming back on. Yeah, no worries. And um, how many? Ha just talk about how the fight first came about. Um, well, I know that um Peter was looking for an opponent. Um, <coughs> he was he was Steve Goodwin, and obviously me and Steve Goodwin have had a history before because um I boxed on a lot of his shows in the early part of my career. I won my southern area. On, on, his, on his show as well. So um, it come together quite easy, to be honest, especially with that um, combo um, part coming available as well. Um, it was a perfect fight for, for both of us, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, going up to Super Bantam, are you more comfortable at this weight? Yeah, I believe I believe so. I believe I'll be comfortable at the weight. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Is it. Was there not many opportunities coming at Bantam? Um, I've always, I've always been open. So, um, Bantam was sort of I was there for one fight, just just the the Perkins fight arose. But I've always really been a super Bantam weight, so mm. it's probably my more preferred option. Mm -hmm. And what do you make of your opponent? Yeah, good fighter. Um, one of the in in his last fight. Um, tall, long, rangy. Yeah, good lad. I got I haven't got a bad word to say about him. Of course, he beat Walker, who I do believe you've sparred a few times. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite close to Ryan. Um, we sparred a few times. We've grown up together as well, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, he come, he's coming off that win, um, which was avenging his oh, he lost as well. Mm. So, so, well done to him. What did you make of that fight? I, I presume you watched it. I was there, yeah. So, yeah, he, he had a good start in that fight. Um and he done what he needed to do on the day. And um, do you agree with the decision? I thought it was probably a bit closer, but he did nick it. But I didn't think it was probably a bit closer than what the scores had. I thought 96-94 to Peter. Yeah, I, I, as I thought the, the initial score was probably a bit wide, but I did think he nicked it. Yeah. Um. So overall, do you think he... Have you ever spoiled Peter? No, I never, I never have actually. Mind you, his coach has messaged me like a few times. We're going like a few years back now, asked for sparring, but it never did materialize. So no, I haven't actually sparred him before. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's the home fighter. Do you feel like the pressure's on you in this fight or him? Um, pro probably him to be honest. Um, there's an expectation around him. Um, I've always put too much pressure on myself and. This time, I'm just going to go in and enjoy myself. Would you say you're the, the favourite going into the fight or underdog? It's a hard one. I think on paper, um, it might be a 50-50. I'm not, I'm not sure who they look at the favourite or the underdog, but don't, I don't really look too much into that anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you've got to uh, take the fight to him? Like, you need to really... Either stop him or like win quite convincingly because it is, especially on home shows when it's very tight, they tend to go to the home fighter. Does that worry you a little bit? No, you don't want to leave it close regardless. So you want to go in and win every moment you can. So and that's what I'll be aiming to do. Yeah. So do you feel like you've got to get a stoppage? Um. Either that, or you said very convincingly. Mm hmm. Um, what well, do you think? Um, like what? What are you expecting from him? Um, I'm expecting to bring it. Um, he's as you say, he's coming with the best win of his career. He's gonna come. He's um, and he's gonna try. He's gonna try and put it on me. And I've got to nullify and counteract the things that he does well. I obviously don't want to give away too much of the game plan, but um, I have to show that on the night. Mm hmm. And how's I presume um, 
what is four or four or three weeks away is it the fight yeah it's only a couple of weeks away now so it's not not long at all now so you're coming show. to the the back end of campers camp gone good everything yeah yeah all right and well fa- fa- final bits now um can't can't complain whatsoever mm-hmm. who have you been sparring in the build-up to this one who've uh, um been doing rounds <laughs> with Daniel Khan um good like with Fuad as well um done a bit with Shabazz um who boxed the other week um what was his performance the other week yeah yeah he done what he needed to do I mean it was it was a, it was a hard fight for him and he cut yeah he, he got COVID two weeks before as well which is why the original date got cancelled so I think he was still re- recovering from that a little bit so he done what he needed to do all those circumstances going against him. Um, so well done to him. And it was, it was a good step up at, at a lad who's been at world level, like boxed at fringe world level. So Shabazz is, is getting to that to that point now. What about Shabazz, Liam Davis? Do you think that could be a good fight? Yeah, that'd be a very good fight. Because I think both those boys now um, are beyond British <laughs> level. Um, so you could get that as like a world title eliminator or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, did you watch Davis's performance last night? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, that Italian had had a hard head, didn't he? But um, you know, you know that more um, you can sense that it was coming from Liam Davis. Liam Davis does punch hard with the right hand, and when you when you got your hands that low and you're biting shots coming at you like that, you are going to get stopped no matter how good your chin is. Mm. And um, yes. I, I didn't see it because I was at um I think I was it was Case Casey was boxing. Yeah, Casey was he done well, didn't he? Yeah, he got um second round knockout and he said uh, probably he's in line for a world title, apparently. I'm happy for Casey because um obviously he had the whole thing with the British and the jazz and his career just didn't didn't get that momentum and I'm I'm glad that he's got two good wins on the bounce now, two good titles, and he can start getting that momentum back in his career and just start really getting the the ball rolling. Mm-hmm. Of course, there's some um, like fights on the small hall scene that uh, is looking good, especially. Um, well, well, we'll start off with yours as like it's up and coming. You've got um, Mikey Saki v Jedekayev, I do believe, is on that. I think that is, yeah. Is I think there's about five or six of them on that show. <laughs> <laughs> there's been a full few that's been pulled. I've seen, but there's. Lauren Parker, she's fighting. Then you've got Linus returning in his like comeback fight, but against somebody who's got um who's been upsetting a few British prospects over here. Yeah, so I mean, is that, is that fella from Nicaragua, isn't it? Uh, Lester Espino, yeah. That's the one, yeah. Lester Espino boxed on um the same show that I boxed on in June, and he stopped his opponent. So yeah, he has another away away win he pulled out. So <laughs> oh yeah, Palmer, oh, yeah. I think that that's one. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. It will come to have a fight, but I reckon Linus should beat him. Linus is a good lad, so yeah, Linus, I think, will come through. But he's a good fight, a perfect comeback fight for him. Yeah, because it's no journeyman. This guy will come and try and take his head off as well. Oh, 100%. Yeah, he's not going to come to lay down. What do you make of the, the Saki um, Jedekaya fight? I think that's a pretty tight, tough one to call. It is a tough one to call. I mean, um, Jedekaya is... Um, up and coming at the moment, he's doing he's doing very well. Um, I think Mike he's always had the talent. Um, I think there's times where he sort of underperforms. He blows hot and cold, Mikey, but on his good day, he is good. So, I hope he does turn up on a good day. I quite like Mike. He's um, that's a good fight. Mm-hmm. Tough one, cool. Um, so why do you why why uh, should fans think that like why are you gonna steal the show, mate? Um. I just think I'm going to bring it. Um, I don't want to say what I'm going to do in the night, but honestly, what watch this fight? Just watch it. <clears throat> um, what's it like boxing on a box mania? Have you boxed on a box mania before? Oh, yeah, you have against Marcus, I think. Yeah, I boxed on the first box mania. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the fights fell through, and there was only only have to be like six or seven fights in the show. But yeah, I boxed on the first one. Um, Not against Jamie. No, I boxed. Um, Marcus Hudson on that one. Oh yeah, I was at that one. Yeah, you was at that one. Yeah, um, so I boxed Marcus Hudson on that one. Um, so yeah, and then so it has to be on another one. These box mains are a good concept. 
Did um, you beat Jack Budge on one of them as well? No, I beat Jack, I did beat Jack Budge on a Steve Goodwin show, but it wasn't like a Box Mania show. But I don't think Box Mania was a concept then. But it was um actually a really good show I boxed Jack Budge on because on that show, I think Dion Juma boxed Wally Camacho and um K Prosper won the English title that show. So that was like a Box Mania kind of show before mm. Box Mania was the thing. Yes. And um, do you think this box mania is better than the last box mania? Of course, you're on it. Yeah, I think I think all the box manias are start are getting better and better. Oh yeah, um, because last time you had Brad Pauls, Mitch Frearson, you had um Aaron Prosper, Yauser Algaina, and there was one other fight. I forgot. More, yeah. Oh, yeah, they, Jidakayev, um, a bid. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. They they're all getting better and better. So I think this one's the best one of the lot, and. I hope the one after that gets better. Um, they're, they're good nights. Um, yes. Um, what other fights are there like upcoming? Of course, top tier. Yeah, uh, you've got Dijon, who I uh, v Constantine Arsu. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to that. I'll, I'll be there on the night. Um, really hope Jordan can go in and, and handle business. And I, th- I, th- I think he will. Do you think he'll? And- because Jordan's saying he'll get a knockout. Do you think he'll knock him out? Anyone can knock anyone out, um, especially in the small gloves as well. And I think Jordan, although he's taken a few losses, um, has shown his level that his last fight, he pushed Harry Harry Scarf pretty tight. Look what Harry yeah, Scarf Yeah, and Harry Scarf beat Echo. Look what he yeah, look what he done last night. Um, so Jordan shows he's on that level there or thereabouts. Um, I, th- I think um, his next fight is going to be a showcase for him. Mm-hmm. What about what other fight? Zachary P V Louis Smithson, of course. Jordan was meant about yeah. box Louis, but uh, I think he got, he's got injured. Yeah, I've not seen a lot of um Zach feature so I'm glad that um Jordan got got <coughs> injured. Um, but I think on paper, on paper, you favour Zach Fee. Um, but I've not really seen a lot of either to make a solid prediction on that one. Yeah, that that's fair enough. Um. Who else? There's Jack Martin, CJ Challenger, which is a good fight. Good fight. Jack Martin is very busy. Always comes to bring it tough as they come. As CJ Challenger, um, unbeaten, hasn't really been had that kind of like breakout fight yet. Um, this may be it, but Jack I Martin's like Jack. never in a boring fight. Oh, he never is. Every single fight is grueling. Um, so that's all. So he's always good to watch. Because he fought Shaq Day the night you boxed Jordan. Um, I mean, that was a war. And uh, then uh, he boxed, not Shaq Day. Yeah, he did box Shaq, but and then he boxed Ryan. Yeah, he, he, boxed, Ryan, he boxed Ryan Maycock as well. And he was having a tough time at, in spots, but then ground out the stoppage. He even boxed J- Jordan Dujon um, a little oh, while yes. back as well. That um, was a great fight, that one. Great fight. Yeah, I mean, he was on Jordan all the way through. Jordan um, was sort of counter punching all the way through. That was a very good fight. I had you on before. I think I had you on before Lee Wood for um Josh Warrington, didn't I? You did, yeah. And um, I mean, he's only he just don't he he does it the hard way, doesn't he? He's had he's had he's had an incredible rise, and if you've seen the way he lives his life, like um, and the way he is, and he's such a nice guy, you, you can't like. You can't wish anything more for him. He's such a nice guy. So fair play to Lee Wood. And it was good to help him with some of the prep in the Josh Warrington fight as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, brutal knockout. Is he, is he, do you know if he's moving up in weight? As he said, yeah. That? He, yeah, he's definitely moving up. Um, his title is not, the featherweight title is now vacant and he's going to pursue fights at super featherweight now. He could so fight look, Cordina. Um, you could fight Cordina, yeah. Um, to become a two-weight world champion. That'd be that, a good what, fight. What, what a story that would be for him. Mm-hmm. Um, what other fights are coming up? Oh, you've got Tyson Fury, you sick. How can I forget that one's coming up? Great fight. I think um Tyson Fury will be a lot better than what he was against Ngannou. I do think Usyk gives him a lot of problems. I think Usyk makes it very sticky in patches. But I do think Fury comes out with a win that night. Mhm. Well, not knockout. No, I think I think it'll be points. Um, AJ v Warlin. 
again, I think Walling can be tricky at points as well. Um, but I do think AJ will outbox him and get a late stoppage against Walling. Late on? Yeah, late on. Yeah, I think sort of between like seven and ten, around about that that point in the fight. Fair enough. Um, and then do you so if Wilder and AJ both win, of course, Wilder's got a tough fight in Parker. If he a, they both come through, then that that's got to happen. If AJ and Wilder both win, hopefully that fight happens. Oh, I hope it does. That's the fight we've wanted for ages. Um, yeah, I, I, I hope it I hope it does happen. I'm looking forward to it. I think I think. Of course, the usual thing happens. Par- Parker will be boxing his head off, and then Wilder, I think, seven or eight, the ninth, Wilder will catch him. This is the thing. We wouldn't be shocked if it's the first with Wilder. You never know when it's going to come, in it. Yeah, because like, you just might walk onto one straight away. So this is what I mean. Like, Wilder's one of them characters. You know when you make a video game character and all the other settings are on a zero, where well, you max out the power. <laughs> That's Deontay Wilder. It is. But yeah, that's that card's that top to bottom, isn't it? Great, great card. Abs- yeah, very good card. Um, so fair play to the Saudis and what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And um back to yourself, what can fans expect from you in a couple of weeks' time? Just a great fight and a great fight and me with my hands raised. What does this fight mean to you? Yeah, yeah, it means a lot. I mean, um, it's been um back and forth the past few years, but this is my night. Mm-hmm. And um have you got um say the ticket prices if you if you're still selling them and yeah, yeah. So um the tickets are fifty pounds, which is great value for what um this this <laughs> shows the end to get this the um shows gonna sell out, it's gonna be packed out, so get, get there, it's gonna be an absolute great night. Mm-hmm. And um yes, make sure you contact um contact Ramaz Mahmood on Instagram for a, a good night of boxing and um yes, it should be a good one. But do you want to thank whether that's anyone who's given you uh just trainers, just the usual people you want to sh- um shout out? Yeah, just every, everyone who's pulled me, everyone who's wished me well, just thank you very much and look forward to this. And from me, mate, thank you for your time and good luck with the fight. All the best. No worries, mate. See you soon. Thank you, mate. Bye, mate. Bye. Bye.